Hello, welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space in my backyard. Tonight, I am going to do a garden tour. I just did a quick harvest because it was raining outside um, and I thought about it, I was like, man, I should have started the garden tour before, but I wasn't sure how much rain we were gonna get. So I wanted to go ahead and harvest my uh, blushing tomatoes uh, just in case it rained heavy. I didn't want them to split. Also, I found my first tomato that was eaten by a mouse. It was a nice sized tomato, but um, the chickens got to eat that. So they got a little bit of a treat. So that is a plus. I am thinking of kind of resetting my garden because I still have a hundred plus days to grow. Um, and it's been very hot here. And some things just aren't producing like they were, which is fine. I have time to reset and I already have some starts. So let's go ahead and get into the garden tour. I'm gonna to show you some of the stuff I am enjoying and other things, not so much. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you the garden in July for this two week tour. I am still enjoying the amaranth. Um, I think it is at the height that it's going to grow, but amaranth grows side shoots. So even though it's at the height, there are other there are other limbs or branches coming out of it, but they're just really pretty. And I didn't think that I was gonna like amaranth, but I really do. And I will be growing it again. It's getting eaten up by the beetles. Um, and so really the same thing that's happening to my pole beans, the beetles are getting them. Um, they look very skinny at the bottom, but I'll show you the starts that I have, um, they're in the greenhouse right now. I already harvested the beans that were on there. Um, there are still flowers producing, but I'm thinking if I get in some better plants that I'll probably get a better harvest off of these. The last time I did a video, I told you that uh, the second bag, I, I replanted, I think the second bag of potatoes um, and it hadn't come back, come up. And so now this bag um, has some greenery in it. If you look down here and all the way down the row, Mr. Mouse or Mrs. Mouse or Miss Mouse, whatever mouse has been in the potato bags. Um, I just come home every day and put the soil and the straw back on the bags. Um, I did get traps. I know everybody's like, where are the traps? I got traps. They are staying so far away from those traps that I don't know what to do. Today though, I did put some chicken feed in the traps because they seem to like the chicken feed. And I finally got smart and moved the chicken feed into the inside of the coop so they don't have anything else to eat. Well, they don't have the chicken feed to eat. So I think that's where they are finding other things at this point to eat, like my beautiful black, I wanna say black creme, tomato um so yes those potatoes are being um dug in by the mouse i am hoping that the dirt is too high in the bag for them to actually get down to my potatoes but we'll see once um it's time to start harvesting potatoes um in a few months my echinacea in this bed it has started to flower and it is so pretty. So this echinacea is huge and probably should have not been put here. Didn't realize how big they got. And this is after being cut down. <laughs> so it has a lot of blooms on it though. Um, echinacea can be used medicinally, also has a very pretty flower. And so I'm very happy to see that echinacea. My squash plant has squash vine borer and I just haven't had a chance to pull it out yet. Um, but the zucchini, which I will show you later, is still doing really well and we have some new zucchini sprouts on it. I also started more zucchini and more squash and so I will be um, replanting soon, but I have to pull that one out. Doesn't look like it from this side. The squash vine borer uh, entrance is on the other side of um, the plant. But look at this beautiful marigold. So I like I like them. And I don't know, I, I think I've seen people use them. I don't know if they eat it or not. If you eat marigolds or whatever, tell me what you do with marigolds. Cause right now I just look at them cause they're so pretty. They're beautiful. 
my bush beans are also not producing anymore it's been four days now since i got a harvest off of my bush beans um not seeing flowers or anything and so i am probably going to pull them and start uh start them fresh and new honestly today would be a perfect day because it's been raining and the soil is already wet but i think i'm gonna wait that out um, but there's more bush beans that are not producing. And now this bed is the bed that I always see the mouse in. So there's the trap. It's a humane trap. And I threw some, um, I threw some chicken feed in it today. So let's see what happens there. The zucchini plant is getting huge. Super happy about that. It's getting huge. And right down here, you can see that we have some zucchini. I've harvested one zucchini off of this plant so far. Um, there may be a little bit of powdery mildew on here as well, uh, but it's just a small amount and these leaves aren't turning yellow or anything. So I'm leaving that alone. I did give it some fish emulsion earlier this week. And so that should help uh, with the health of the plant, with the green greenery of the plant and how big it grows. So wish me luck on that. The tromboncino squash are still growing pretty good. There's another one back here. I'm probably gonna harvest this one for dinner sometime this week. Once it gets bigger and once it uh, cures and gets harder, uh, I hear that it tastes like butternut squash. I'm not a fan of butternut squash, so I doubt I'm gonna let any of this uh, go that far. We'll be eating it the way that it is. Also, I am thinking that I'm gonna plant an uh, extra seed of tromboncino squash right here and right here so we can have two going up these trellises on both sides not really sure what happened to this one um it was growing good and then it wasn't <laughs> so i don't know i'll probably give it to the chickens we have another one growing right here and i just took and pushed it up into my trellis because of the mouse and i don't want it to eat it <laughs> Also, this is my harvest from today. There's a lot of tomatoes in there. Um, there's some cu cucumbers, a few beans, our eggs today. Um, and I grabbed the Swiss chard. So the Swiss chard is from last fall, which I'm pretty sure I told you all that. So I pulled all of the leaves, except for the really small ones, to see if I can get it to basically kind of regrow. Um, I also restarted Swiss chard and it's in the greenhouse. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm ready to have more Swiss chard. We're gonna eat that. Maybe I'll make some eggs or something with it tomorrow for breakfast. <laughs> All the peppers are doing amazing. I'm just gonna kind of go down the row. The plants aren't huge, but they are packed with peppers at this point. Let's see if you can see those a little bit better. Um, I have one that's turning on this one. That's a paprika pepper. I just harvested the shishito peppers. There's one that can be harvested too. Um, shishito peppers are delicious and they don't even have to try to be. Just blister them with some salt and pepper. They're delicious. There's another one. I guess I didn't harvest them well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the shishito peppers are doing an amazing job out here for me. I'm really loving them this season. Here's a pretty big green pepper. Um, it's a yellow pepper, honestly. Um, and I'm waiting until it turns yellow. If I if I like the green peppers, I'd eat that right now. <laughs> and there's another one on that plant. It's another green pepper. This one was really cool looking. I don't know why they grow like that, but it was cool. It's another green pepper. Um, the peppers are doing really good. Uh, this is a Hungarian yellow wax pepper. Over here, we have all of the cayenne long, nice size poblano right there. And there's more in there. Good amount of poblano peppers. This is another poblano pepper um, plant as well. Another cayenne long with really long ones on there. This is my surprise large red that's definitely not the large red I thought it was. Um, and so that's starting to blush and I will harvest that. Here we have the banana pepper plant. I've already harvested and we uh, preserve those together. This is another bell pepper. And this, 
what is it what is this <laughs> i think it's wilt i probably need to move it i just haven't it was doing really well and then all of a sudden it wasn't um i do think it's wilt though uh these are the pimento peppers a lot on a very small plant then the lysia and there's one that is blushing in there this is the golden marconi golden marconi i love those peppers they are delicious this is also a golden marconi these are just little lunchbox peppers all the way down here if you remember this is where my winter squash was i've pulled out the winter squash i have pulled out the borage um because this bed was just a mess um and so right now we just have some basil in there um on both sides i'm gonna let that get a little bit bigger um and then we'll see what else we're gonna put in here pretty sure it's gonna be beans and the sunflowers are just growing and growing and growing <laughs> they're really tall and i'm very happy about that um i'm gonna save these poles well they're stocks um and i'm gonna use them to uh stake things next year they're very strong over here is another tomato section look at this big guy back here it's huge pretty excited not sure exactly what that one is um i have kind of got out of my routine of tying them up see that's the last time this has been tied and there's a whole sucker right there it's hot y'all it's hot <laughs> uh, so but it goes all the way up and it hasn't been tied so i do need to get to that um tomorrow the one that wasn't doing well i went ahead and pulled that out um and got rid well didn't get rid of it it laid on the ground and it died which is probably not a good thing I think you remember me saying I had planted some more uh, scallop squash down here. They finally come up. This basil, I think it was the lemon basil. Yes, that's exactly what it is. I smelled it. has started flowering. I'm just going to leave it for the pollinators for now. I didn't even get to taste that. <laughs> there are so many new cucumbers growing right now. Very excited about that. Oh, let me show you this. <laughs> So this is one of the pots with the strawberry plants in it that I don't take much care of at this point. But look, I have a volunteer tomato in there that I'm just letting grow. <laughs> There's two of those. There's one in the other pot too. I'm assuming it came from my compost. Over here, we have another tomato section. Look at that big guy. It's it's really big. Um, and so I think this is a black black creme or let's see let's see oh it's a black elephant uh first time growing it but it they get really big i hope they taste delicious my amish paste are still doing good they're growing everywhere so like a really prolific tomato um this tomato is blushing i think it's too far up for my mouse to get it's also cat faced <laughs> not sure that i would eat it anyway not the bottom of it anyway um and so the tomatoes on this side look at oh my god did you guys see the mouse i saw the mouse oh <sighs> anywho uh kind of tunnels under these bags and things I, I have no idea what's going on i need to get in here and pull these bottom leaves um they're looking a little suspect so i will do that um, I went ahead and top dressed the bed, the bed where I pulled the potatoes out because of the mouse as well. Just letting that take a break. Um, it has compost. I put some more fertilizer in it. Um, and so I'll watch my son to see if I'm able to at least grow some green, uh, some greens, some leafy green vegetables in this bed this fall. I have pulled out all of the sunflowers, all of the radishes and turnips and things that were growing down here uh, because this was one of the spaces that the mice was always in um, and so just trying to make a space where they can't stay in uh, the nasturtiums are looking pretty bad probably gonna pull those and decide what i'm going to replant for a second harvest uh, but for now the marigolds now that they can get some sun are starting to bloom in this bed as well um, my little melon is growing a little bit. Don't know if it's gonna keep growing, um, but 
We also have a few uh, cantaloupe that are trying to make their way into the world. I'm very hopeful that they do make their way into the world. <laughs> um, there's another one right there. The cherry tomatoes just don't seem to be doing that well right now. Um, you know, I had those two that I pulled out um, and it could honestly just be the heat. It's been 90 or better for quite some time. And when I say they're not doing well, I just mean like they're not bushy. Um, I have harvested quite a few cherry tomatoes. We have tried a few trusses, I think is what they're called, growing. Um, but I feel like they just don't seem that healthy. Like right here, that needs to be pulled. Uh, starting to look like the other one that the other ones that I pulled out so not really sure I could probably replant these um, and start over but I'm not sure that I will if it gets worse I definitely will see if I can go to the store I wouldn't start them from seed but um, yeah that's what my cherry tomatoes are looking like right now. This was such a pretty spot at a, at a, at a point. <laughs> we have some blushing tomatoes on here too. I just kind of left them though um, to give them some time to get more of their actual color. Put down some cardboard in this walkway because we get a lot of weeds right here. Also, it's like the walkway of the mice. So have to make sure I can see where they are uh, nasturtiums over here, also looking a little hot and burned. Uh, this is where I uh, went ahead and harvested the Swiss chard. So hopefully in my next video, this will have grown back. Uh, we still have eggplant growing, uh, leaving them to let them get a little bit bigger, but they are still growing. I'm excited. I do like my eggplant. I don't preserve the eggplant, but I do like to eat them fresh. These are more potatoes, which doesn't seem like the mice mess with them, but the mice come from right over there. I'm so confused, um, but that's another trap that I have set up for them as well. Strawberry greenery still looking good, still not getting many strawberries off of it, uh, but still happy about it. But look at all of the tomatoes in this area right here. They're growing really good. An update on the sweet potatoes, they are starting to run down the fence line also trying to run through the trellis into the front i've been redirecting them um, but they are looking okay they're still getting eaten right here but the leaves going down are not so um, i'm just of course gonna leave them because because that's what i do <laughs> so here are the starts uh these are the pole beans i plan to put in these are some kale dinosaur kale some Swiss chard, uh, some regular kale is over there. That didn't do as well. And these are some more bush beans. And I need to get them in very soon uh, because beans don't really like to have their roots disturbed. Um, so I'm hoping that when I put them in, I can get the whole root ball and just drop it down. Um, Charles Dowding does it. <laughs> it should work. It's a pretty short tour because I was trying to beat the rain and make sure I don't get stuck in the rain. So I appreciate you watching. I hope your gardens are flourishing. Um, it is that time of year, apparently for me, where mine starts to kind of die down. I'm just gonna reset it because I have time to do that. And then hopefully in the next few garden tours, we'll see the new plants come to life and, um, you know, be excited. And I'm not saying I'm not excited. Um, I just want my garden to grow again. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like if you enjoyed this video. Um, also, don't forget to visit me over on Instagram at Miss MS Asia Spratly, where I post about the things going on in the garden almost every day. Have a great night, and I will see you Saturday. Bye.